Former President Donald Trump just spoke to CBS News. Here is some of his exclusive conversation with our Caitlin Huey Burns. Mr. President, great to see you. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. You just gave a speech on the economy. You talked about lowering taxes for families. Do you support a child tax credit? Well, I was the one that did the child tax credit, and I do support it, and I want to have it. But we're going to $5,000, as bring J.D. Vance in. suggested? We, we have, we have uh, two forms, even three forms, and as you know, it gets negotiated with Congress. But we're doing the maximum. My daughter, Ivanka, was very involved in that, if you remember. She wanted it more than anybody. She understood it better than anybody, wanted it more than anybody. And the answer is yes, we will take care of children in this country. We're going to take care of our seniors. We're going to have no tax on Social Security for our seniors. We're going to have no tax on tips, which was uh, sort of stolen from us, as you know, by uh, Kamala. But uh, we're, going to, we're going to take care of our people, but we're also going to make sure that we are a great manufacturing hub again. That's why we're here. This plant, which would have trouble if uh, things that we want to do don't happen. We have to create our industrial base. We have to create jobs in this country. We just can't keep losing them. And as you heard, 350,000 jobs were lost this year in manufacturing. That's hard to believe. That's a hard thing to believe. I do want to ask about your opponent, Kamala Harris, yes. the vice president. You have criticized her appearance. You've criticized her intelligence. Is that the message to win over those moderate voters that you're going to need in the middle? No, I don't think so. I think that the message is what a bad job they've done. I mean, if you look at this economy, if you look at inflation, and, you know, I love this country. I have to do what it takes to win. I have to get this country going because we're going to lose our country. We're, going to, we're very close to losing our country. And if you look at what inflation, which was caused by them, with uh, all of the things that they did, it, I handed them essentially no inflation. And inflation has destroyed our country. It's, it's known, you know, inflation is known throughout the generations as a country buster. Well, we've suffered some of the worst inflation that any country has ever suffered. And we're not going to let that happen. We have to stop them. So I'm not a fan of hers, because what she did is she actually signed the Inflation Reduction Act. It was her vote. It was a tie vote. She, as vice president, had the final decision. And she signed it. That is what gave us, and their bad energy policy, is what gave us tremendous inflation, which, frankly, is killing our country. Does the fact that she is a woman change your calculus about how you approach this race? No, it doesn't, except that it's pretty unfair. I'm running against one person. He got 14 million votes. He's running and doing well. And uh, perhaps he had a bad debate. Perhaps I had a good debate. But he's running. And that's my opponent. All of a sudden, they say, listen, we don't like you anymore because you're losing by a lot. So we're taking you out. We're going to give somebody else. So right in the middle of the campaign, really much more toward the end of the campaign, they take somebody out. They put in a new person who got there with no votes. It's very, I mean, it's very, uh, it's a terrible thing for our country. They talk about destroying democracy. They are destroying democracy. They take somebody who didn't get one vote, and the bosses of the Democrat Party just put her there. I think she's going to do very badly. Actually, I think she's going to be easier than Biden, because when people hear that she believes in a Marxist philosophy, which she does, people didn't know all the, the things that we're bringing out right now. They didn't know it. Her father is a Marxist professor. Uh, she believes in Marxism. This country will not sustain that. This country is not going to go for that. All right, you've been listening to Caitlin Huey Burns' exclusive interview with former President Donald Trump as he claims that uh, Kamala Harris uh, adheres to a Marxist philosophy. Uh, she has never professed that. But nevertheless, you're going to hear more of that interview in our next hour on The Daily Report with John Dickerson. So stick around for that.